Recent publication praised the 25 gauge system advantages allowing faster procedure. To confirm that, we have compared for the same indication the operating steps of two fast surgeons using 20 and 25 gauge systems. They have started. The first step will be the opening. Let's see what will happen. The 25 gauge should be faster as no conjunctival incision nor scleral work is needed. Let's wait and see. Yes, the 25 gauge is ahead with 14 seconds. Now we have the real time of vitrectomy. Both surgeons are used to perform a core vitrectomy in this pathology. This shouldn't take too long then. The 20 gauge internal tubing surface being 10 times higher than the 25 gauge one, the aspiration flow and vitrectomy time should be faster in DDS end even more as he is using a peristaltic pump at 24 cc per minute when Guy is using a venturi with a vacuum at minus 650. Yes, this is it. 25 gauge is far ahead. For the peeling time, it will depend on the membrane characteristics, but for sure, a 20 gauge forceps will have a stronger grasping effect, allowing to detach a large membrane surface. On the opposite, the 20 gauge forceps will more likely tear the membrane and then detach a smaller surface. What are you doing now, Didier? Oh, I understand. You are pinching the retina to be sure that the ILM has been removed. Oh, you were really quick for this step. So go ahead with your closing procedure now. Don't worry, Guy. Didier will surely spend a lot of time for closing. And luckily, the surgery is not a race. Just do as you would normally do. I think that you will be the first one to finish, Didier, even though you are spending quite a lot of time for closing.
25 gauge is not faster indeed, but has perhaps other advantages. Sorry, I will have to leave you now as I want to give the cup to the winner. <laughs>